This year at Carryville, the Dragons have perhaps the area's top quarterback in Missouri commit Aiden Glover. I think everybody knows about Aiden Glover now. I don't know if they knew about him so much last year. Um, he has done a tremendous job of leading this team, leading this offense. Glover will lead an offense featuring the area's top tight end and Liberty commit Eli Sisson. At playmaking receiver Joe Kim Dotson on the outside, and the Dragons have a passing game that could be exciting. Those guys have developed a nice chemistry, and, and really that's on Aiden and, getting, and the receivers getting together, and uh, they've done that all offseason, so we hope that continues to progress. Defensively, Carryville brings back experience in the middle. I think the linebacker core could be a really, uh, really big strength of our defense. Uh, we have some guys coming back who played a lot of football over the last several years. The Dragons won their first seven games last year before finishing the season 8-3. and three. Losing games down the stretch has them focused on coming back better. I think they learn not to, not to be entitled. Uh, nothing's going to be given to them. Um, you know, I think uh, people, I think people on last year's team were maybe kind of living on the past as far as the year before, you know, and I think uh, last year I kind of thought things would just roll for them, and they, and obviously they didn't. Uh, we had a good season, but you know. We, we're not satisfied with with uh, losing those games we lost during the season and, of course, being knocked out of the first round. So that's been a motivating factor for us. I feel good about this year's team. Um, again, our senior leadership and the guys we got coming back ha have uh, paved the way. And we have some good young guys stepping up. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to the season. And, you know, we started off strong with our first opponent, and that's all we're really focused on right now.